What happens if the sun swallows Earth? Let's find out. Blow up the sun! The sun is expanding, and precisely 10 days from now, the sun is gonna swallow Earth. But with every day that passes, the sun gets closer and life on Earth changes more and more. Watch until the end to see if anything actually survives the sun. Day one and hey, it's real nice out today. Summertime is in full effect. Look how packed this beach is. All the villagers are out tanning and wait, hold on. <laughs> what? Day two and damn, the sun is 10% hotter and temperatures on Earth are breaking record highs. Whoa, you can literally see the water from the ocean evaporating. Ew. Yeah, nothing like that feeling of humidity everywhere. I can see why everyone's heading back inside. It's day three and the humidity is getting real bad. Like, look at all this rot growing on the trees. It's even getting on all the villagers' houses and in all their stuff. It doesn't get any better outside either. Oh, bruh. What's going on with these guys? Yo, what? They got hypothermia. Day four and damn, I thought the sun was bright before, but nah. Now it's really bright. Yo, what happened around here? Are we on the right planet? Yep. Nah, this is Earth now. All the grass and trees are dead. This place is looking a lot more like Mars now. I feel bad for these villagers. They're starving out here because all their crops are dead. But <laughs> looks like these guys are doing a scavenger hunt or something. Wait, what are they doing now? Building some kind of... Yo! They're praying to a sun god because they need answers. Man, if only I could help them. Wait, I got an idea. All right, much better. Sometimes you gotta give them a little push in the right direction, and now they're all worshiping a worthy cause. You seeing this? The ocean is literally boiling like hot water in a kettle. What does this mean for all the fish, though? I guess that answers my question. It looks like half the villagers are real happy about this, and the other half, they think this is a sign of the apocalypse. I mean, technically these guys are right, but these guys are way more fun. What's happening now? Yo, they're digging way down. Looks like one of the apocalypse believers is leading them underground. Wait, isn't that? I remember you. Yo, these other villagers are laughing at them for going underground. Come on now, that's just disrespectful. They're going through all the stuff they left behind. I wonder how the underground villagers are doing though. Let's check on them. Day five and damn, our boy's been working. Look at this place. How'd they pull this off? It's a whole underground city down here. Okay, okay. So they set up these solar panels up on the surface and when the sun on steroids, they got energy for a lifetime. Hey, looks like our boy is in charge now. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't take him seriously though. Wow, they even got this massive freezer that's keeping all their fish frozen. Now these villagers are survivors. I'm impressed. Yo, is this a space station? Looks like their leader is investing heavy into it too. I guess the people need answers on what's going on with the sun. Ah. Oh, Bruh. you said what? Basically, the space program discovered that the sun is expanding faster every day. It's already destroyed Earth's atmosphere and the other villagers on the surface? Well, in three days, the sun is gonna completely swallow Earth. And there's more. Even if we somehow survive that, the sun is gonna explode on day 10, which will completely wipe out all the planets in our galaxy. Day six and uh-oh, this ain't good. What's our guy gonna do? Does he tell the people the truth or lie to them so they can live the rest of their days in peace? <laughs> no, stop. You know what he just said? This guy told everyone that he had a vision from a higher power, a sun god, that in two days, the apocalypse would come, but it's all good. It's just a gateway to paradise. Soon they'll all have everything they ever wanted and more in the new world. Wow, now people are building more statues of this sun god. They're teaching about him in schools too. Everybody quit their jobs and now they're just living it up and burning through the food supply. The end is approaching, but everyone's happy, so I guess it's a good thing? I mean, what's the alternative? <laughs> Yo, what? So, there's been another discovery. It turns out, the more the sun expands, the more mass it loses. So its gravitational pull on Earth is weakening, and Earth is actually drifting farther away from it. If 
Earth somehow drifts into another star's orbit, they've got a chance at survival. <laughs> now bro's gotta come clean to everyone? I wouldn't want to be in his shoes right now. <laughs> oh! Bruh. They're mad. They don't believe the truth. They think he's been possessed by evil, and seeing how they're carrying him out in front of an angry crowd, I feel like... Damn, they really pinned him to the statue like that. Help me! Yo, the scientists watch this all go down. And it looks like he's got a wife now, too. You gotta convince everyone to help him, otherwise they're doomed. But how? If he tells the truth, he knows what's gonna happen. Yo, what? The scientist is dressed up as a prophet. <sighs> oh, Bruh. he's going with the flow. He said he received a vision from the sun god, and he's been told two things. One, the previous leader was possessed by an evil spirit. And two, the people need to follow his specific instructions if they want to get to paradise. It's day eight and it looks like Earth's out of time. The sun is expanding faster than Earth can drift away. Oh, Bruh. half the Earth is straight up melted away. Wait, what's that? Turns out that everyone believed the scientist. With their help, they were able to turn Earth into a giant ship that could push away from the sun. Oh, hey, they made it out. He saved everyone's lives, but he had to lie to do it. Is he right or wrong for that? Day nine, and they might have gotten away from the sun, but I mean, they got away from the sun. It's freezing now. Food supply is almost out. The villagers want answers. Ah. Damn, our guy just came clean. So he said he's not really a prophet. He's a scientist and he lied so that they would help him build the ship. But he has no idea when and if they'd even make it to another star. And people are kind of mad, rightfully so. I mean, everyone's probably doomed, but I've got a feeling that our guy is especially no, not gonna make God, it out of this alive. No. Uh, what's happening? Oh! Bruh. Since the Earth's got no more atmosphere and it's just floating through space, it's completely vulnerable to meteors and space radiation. Yeah, this is probably bad, but at least it gives a chance for bro to escape. Wow, everything is completely frozen on the Earth's surface. It's day 10 and that's it. Bye bye, son. Wow, look at that. It's sending waves of energy all throughout the galaxy. And a new star is born. Man, you know that feeling when it's been winter for way too long? This place is finally heating up again. Hey look, we got oceans! There's even a tree! Hang on, is that? Hey, they made it! 